Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to learn how to make a very beautiful mini mesh skirt. It's an easy one and it can be used as a beach cover-up or a swimsuit cover-up. So for the materials, you'll need a measuring tip, a pair of scissors, a five millimeter crochet hook, and a darning needle. And then for the yarn, I am using Robin, which is 100% acrylic. It's a fingering weight yarn, so I'll be doubling my strand. But all in all, I used um, 600 yards of yarn. So each ball is 300 yards. So times two, I'll be having 600, but I'll be doubling the strand. So if you're using a single strand and you're using a DK weight yarn or any thicker yarn that doesn't need to be doubled, then you'll need only 300 yards of yarn to make the full project. So um, if you would like the written pattern, it's already available on my online shops. You'll be getting all the details in the description box below. All right, so you're going to grab your yarn and your hook and you're going to start off with a slip knot. And you're going to make a chain that's an even multiple. So an even number of chains. One, two, three, four, five. And this chain should be stretching to your hip measurement. So you're going to make sure that your chain is not twisted. Make sure the braided part is on the upper side at all times. And we are going to make a slip stitch into the very first chain. So insert your hook into the first chain and pull through all. That's a slip stitch. And this will create a circular loop, as you can see here. So we're going to start off with our very first round of mesh and we're going to start off with a chain of four. That chain of four counts as a double crochet chain one. Skip one chain, skip the next chain and then one double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one chain and one double crochet into the next. And we are going to repeat that all the way around. This is going to create the mesh pattern. All right, so we're almost coming to the end of the round and I am still creating the mesh pattern. And you're going to do that until you have only one chain left on your round. So I have this one chain left before the end of the round. I will make a chain of one and skip that chain and then slip stitch into the third chain of the first chain four of the round. So we have a chain four here. You're going to count from the base, one, two, and three. And into the third chain, you're going to insert your hook and pull through all. And that's how we end our round. So from here, you're going to make a chain of four, turn your work, so that you're working in the opposite direction of the previous round. And then you're going to skip over the next chain space and then go into the double crochet with one double crochet. Chain one, 
one double crochet into the next double crochet so we are not working anything into the chain one space we are going into the stitches from the previous round and we are placing one double crochet in each double crochet and separating each double crochet with a chain one space so chain one one double crochet into the next chain one one double crochet into the next and then go all the way around until you're almost at the end of the round and I'll show you what to do when you get here all right so we are coming to the end of round two and you'll place the you'll do the mesh pattern until you have only one chain space left which is this one and you're going to make a chain of one and slip stitch into the third chain of the first chain four of the round counting from the base so this is what you're going to have round three is basically going to be the same as round two so you're going to make a chain of four turn your work and then you're going to go into the next double crochet with a double crochet so we are going to repeat this around and around and i'll let you know how many rounds that i'll do before going on to the next step which is the waistband all right so i ended up doing a total of 25 rounds and this is what your skirt should look like you're going to do as many rounds as you need your skirt to be you can go up to 30 if you wish your skirt to be longer but i did a total of 25 rounds and now we're going to work on the very final round make sure your work is on the right side and then we are going to do a round of double crochets so you're going to make a chain of three and then go into the next chain one space with one double crochet and then one double crochet into the next stitch so go all the way around doing this one double crochet into each stitch and one double crochet into each chain one space and i'll meet you back at the beginning of your round Alright, so we are coming to the end of our round and I am placing one double crochet into the very last chain one space. And then from here, I am going to slip stitch into the top of the first chain three of the round. And then chain one and cut your yarn. So that marks the end of the bottom part of the skirt and this is what you're going to have so when it comes to the top part we are going to do something a bit different because we have to gather it in since we used our hip measurement to start the very first um, chain the foundation chain was made basing on the hip measurement that means when it gets to our waist we need to gather it a bit something like this and to do that we are going to first make an edging for the top part of the skirt and then make a drawstring and put everything together so let's get started you're going to turn your work onto the back side where we have this tail or the seam line of the skirt and you're going to grab your yarn make a slip knot and then you're going to attach it into any chain one space see these spaces they're the ones where we're going to place some sort of shell so you're going to insert your hook and attach in any space all right so after attaching your yarn into the space you're going to place one single crochet and then you're going to make a chain of two and then place two more double crochets into the same space one and two and then skip the next space and place a single crochet into the next 
so we're going to repeat this all the way around chain two into the same space with a single crochet you're going to place two double crochets skip the next space and then one single crochet into the next so repeat that all the way around So this is going to create shells all the way around the top of the skirt. Alright, so we've made it all the way around, creating those shells or scallops at the top of the skirt. And I've placed my very last one here. I'll skip the next space and go into the next with one single crochet, chain two. I'll place two more double crochets into the same space and then slip stitch into the very first single crochet of the round then from here you're going to make a chain of one and cut your yarn so now I'm going to get rid of these loose ends At the back of the skirt, you can use a darning needle to weave them in. Okay. Weave in all your tails before you go to the next step. So, as I had mentioned earlier on, the side that has the double crochet row or round is the bottom side of the skirt. The side that has the scallops or shells is the top part of the skirt. So you're going to grab your yarn and you're going to make a long chain of about 150 chains. And that's going to create our drawstring. All right, so after making your drawstring of whatever number of chains that you want, um, you're going to place your work in a way that the same line is at the back of the skirt, just like this. The same line is supposed to be here at the back. And now you're going to get your darning needle and thread your drawstring and you're going to go into the row below the scallops you're going to go in and out of every stitch just like that okay so when you make it all the way around you're going to have something that looks like this you can pull on these strings all right so i've made my drawstring a little longer so that it doesn't appear so short so as you can see this is our drawstring it gathers the waist area so that it's well fitted around the waist of the person who is wearing this skirt and at this point you're just going to make a knot and get rid of the loose ends uh, actually the extra strands on the drawstring you can either attach tassels or you can add beads or shells to the ends of the drawstring but this is basically it this is what your skirt will look like and that marks the end of this tutorial i hope you loved the tutorial and i'll see you in my next one bye